What's going on everyone? My name is Impulse and today I've got a tutorial for you for this two in one honey and honeycomb farm. This thing's absolutely amazing. I'm excited to show you this. This was actually shown to me by a friend named Draconis and we collaborated together to make some small improvements and I am here today to show you exactly how this thing works. And as I said, it is two in one, meaning you can get both honey bottles and honeycombs uh, and they will end up in this chest down below so you can see i just built this thing up and it's already producing these bees are going to work i love it and all we need to do to switch modes is flip this little lever here and we can switch between the honeycombs and the honey bottles now we are currently on snapshot 19w35a and my guess is that in the future as 115 actually comes out we're gonna see honeycombs being used for a lot more than they are today Day. Right now, you can pretty much just craft the beehives, but the honey bottles are actually pretty useful. They restore two hunger or three hunger bars and give you 9.6 saturation. So it's a pretty useful little treat there to carry in your inventory to, uh, to feed yourself. So before we jump into the tutorial, let me just talk a little bit about how this is actually working. So I've actually got six bees inside of this little cage here, and they are pollinating the flowers and bringing them to the beehive. The other three bees that you don't see are in there making honey right now and uh, the beehive is actually behind this trap door and then we've got some dispensers that are dispensing shears on this side and that's going to get us the honeycomb and we've got glass bottles over here which is going to get us the bottles of honey and all we need to do is tell the system which one we want basically and they will dispense and we've got a hopper minecart inside of the beehive so that hopper minecart is going to collect whatever is spit out here and that's going to be put down into these hoppers and get separated here we have our honey bottles and we have our honey combs and they will get put into those chests down below so the redstone on the back is simply to tell the system which one we want and also when to trigger so we only want to trigger this of course when there is a bee or honey level of five in the beehive and we can detect that with this comparator here so as soon as the signal gets to five we know that it's time to trigger the system um, we can do that by doing this comparison off of this composter here that has a level of four coming out of it and uh, that's going to trigger this observer to basically kick off the pistons that you see here and that's going to give it signal to the dispenser and that's going to get us the items that we want and we can control which one goes with a bit of a kind of t flip-flop situation here so if we flip this lever you're going to see now this piston stationed to trigger the dispenser with shears and this one over here got pulled back actually and it's no longer going to trigger this guy that's trying to get us the honey bottles. So that's kind of how the system works. Now that you've got the idea there, let's go ahead and build it up. So to build this, you're gonna need the materials in this chest right here. I will give you a second to take a look, freeze frame it, take a screenshot, whatever you need to do. And I'll go ahead and grab these out so that we can build this up ourselves. All right, once we have everything we need in our inventory here, we can start to figure out where we wanna place this. So let's start by determining where the output chests are gonna be. And I'm gonna put these right here. This is where the honeycombs and the honey bottles are gonna go. Then we'll take our hoppers and we can shift click these guys into the back of those chests there so that they're facing just like that. Shift click another hopper on top so it's pointing down. And this is gonna be directly under our beehive. So if you've silk touched a beehive and have one kind of in your inventory, you can just place it. Otherwise, you're gonna to wanna to build this underneath an existing one in your world if you're unable to move a beehive around. So that's how that's gonna work. And then what we're gonna do is place a stair up against that hopper right like that to dirt in front of this and you may be thinking that's going to stop the chest from opening but it's okay because we're going to actually till this and that's going to allow the chest to open so at the moment if we take some blocks and these can be any blocks you like whatever you think looks good um, at this point we shouldn't be able to open that chest but as soon as we waterlog this stair right there and hoe that land now it makes it so that's not a solid block and we can open the chest and items can go into it so there's a little trick there we no longer need that block and now we can build up the chamber that the bees are actually going to be stored in so we're going to want to place some dispensers facing into the beehive so i'm just going to put down some temporary blocks so that i have a block to put the dispenser up against so that it's actually facing directly into that beehive and we'll do that on both sides so we have two dispensers 
both facing into the beehive and there we go that's all set up and now we're going to put some glass panes down the glass panes will give these guys a little bit extra room inside of here to kind of roam around and be able to get to the flowers which we need to plant and we will take some flowers and plant them right on these two blocks right there and then also we're going to put a trap door right in front of this beehive like that and now what we can do is put a little roof on this thing so that the bees won't be able to get out. And we're going to use these iron trap doors. That way they don't accidentally get toggled and let the bees out. So there we have that. Now, if you're bringing bees in in survival, you can do that via leads. And once you kind of bring them over, they're going to want to kind of get in here and start pollinating the flowers and get into the beehive. So I would suggest bringing three in at first and letting them kind of do their thing and here and eventually they're all going to hop into that beehive and then once they do you can bring in the other three uh, but since we're doing this just for tutorial i'm just going to go ahead and spawn these guys in for ease of the tutorial sake all right after a minute the first three bees i put in actually went into the hive so now we can bring in the next three so that we have six bees oops and we missed the spot on that one we're gonna have to um let him just be free i guess and in the void world they get a little buggy and don't know where to go but all right there we go we've got our bees in place three outside of the hive three inside of the hive and now we can start the redstone that's going to trigger this thing and we're going to first put fill up these dispensers go ahead and fill up this one on the left all with shears there and these will last quite a long time but if you want you can of course add a hopper and some storage off to the side here to add even more shears in and then we're going to do the water bottles on here so just put in as many empty water bottles as you can and again, you could do extra storage off to the side. That won't hurt the system at all. And there we go. Okay, so now we need to get down to the redstone. All right, let's start by putting our lever in place. So we're going to put a block next to this bottom chest here. Put our lever on that. And that's going to be used to determine the mode that we are going to have on. And then we need to put some blocks kind of under it like this. We kind of curve around, come one back, and then one up from that. On the back of here, we're going to have a torch two redstone dust going into a repeater which i do not have in my inventory for some reason and hopefully it was on the materials list before but let's go ahead and grab that repeater and the repeater there's just going to be on the default there of one tick and we'll put a torch on the back of that above the torch we want an observer facing up and so that's going to observe uh send a signal basically when this torch is turned on and again when it's turned off so that observer is going to send signal into this block and we're going to put two blocks next to the observer like this with a dust on each one and then we're going to get our sticky pistons in place so you're going to have a sticky piston facing off of that block and then we're going to start one side with a sticky piston facing up a block away from that and then the other side it's going to be right next to the piston just like that now before we get too far ahead of ourselves we need to get a hopper minecart into this beehive directly into it so that this hopper can actually suck up items through that as these dispensers dispense here so we're going to put a block there and a block up here and that way we can get a track at an angle just like that put the hopper minecart on there give it a nice good nudge and it should lend itself right into the beehive right like that all right, now it's time to start placing some more observers. And the first one we want to place is going to be right here. If you hold shift and look at the top of this block, it should face down. And I do have a texture pack on that has these arrows on the side from Vanilla Tweaks. I'll put a link in the description. These are kind of nice to have. They kind of help see which way dispensers or uh, observers are facing and also uh, do a lot of other things too. Like you can see the side of these pistons are sticky, things like that. So it's really nice to have. Link in the description, of course, for that. And then after that we want to put an observer right like that and so the basically this observer is detecting a change of this one and sending signal this way and it's going to send that signal to a piece of redstone dust right there now we need to get the observers in place they're going to actually trigger the dispensers and they will be just kind of back behind the dispensers just like that so if you put a temporary block above that piston you can get that one in place and then do the same thing over here we're going to actually put this one right on top of that piston so that one's good to go now that we have all that in place it's time to put the actual trigger to the system in what's going to actually set this thing off every time the beehive reaches honey level five so you can see here on the f3 screen if you look to the right it says honey level is five already these guys work very fast as you can see so we're going to put a block right there an observer here and that's going to help us determine how much is actually in that beehive and now now, in order to trigger the system, uh, this observer is what's going to need to detect that. So the way we're going to
going to do that is put a comparator over here and we're going to put a container that has a level of four over here and we're going to use a composter here and we're going to just put in some flowers we already used flowers for this guy so let's go ahead and put in the flowers over here so we'll do one two three four and that gives us the level of four that's going to be coming out of there and I think I got all four in there. All right, we're going to put in a redstone dust right there. And that's going to trigger the system for the first time, which it needed to do because the honey level is already at five. So let's see what mode we were in. We were in honeycomb mode already. So it grabbed the honeycombs. Now this guy is going to be back to level zero. The bees will start working. And next time this reaches level five, it's going to harvest the honeycombs again. Now, if we want to get honey bottles instead, all we need to do is flip Flip this switch that pulls that piston back and now this guy is going to be the one that gets triggered with the bottles in it and we'll start to get the honey bottles instead taking a look back it looks like i did not actually get my composter to level four so you want to maybe do an f3 on your composter check its levels i don't think it saw the other two flowers i put in now while i'm doing this it's actually triggering the system but we should be good to go because I have to do it twice and it should pull that back down and we should be good to go. There we go. So everything's back in place. Now, of course, you want to make sure that you have level four before you put that redstone dust on if it's ready to harvest at level five already. And my guesses are you probably will be ready by the time you get all this circuit built up in survival. So before I end the tutorial, I want to show you one other alternate mode that you can use. Let's say that you don't want to have to manually decide what you want. You, you mainly want the honey bottles, and once the honey bottles are filled up here in the chest and the hopper, then go ahead and switch to honeycomb mode after that. We can actually make that happen pretty easily. So I'm going to take out some of this redstone here and kind of build up this bit like that. And we're going to put some different redstone on top of this guy. So we're going to leave that repeater right there. We're going to make it two ticks, actually. And now we're going to put a comparator coming out of this hopper on subtract mode and some dust right here and another comparator right here with a hopper going into that. And then we're going to put some items in this hopper so that we can determine the subtract mode and how much strength it's going to get here. So I'm going to put four unstackable items in here. That's going to give us the signal we want. You can do full 64 stacks of, of dirt or whatever you want in here as well. Um, but just do that much. Four slots completely filled here. And that's going to give us the signal we want. And now what's going to happen is the system's basically going to be in honey bottle mode until this gets completely filled up. All right, now we have a full chest of honey bottles and the next honey bottle that comes into this item hopper is going to be it for the system. And there we go. You can see that just came in. Nice timing there. And the system went ahead and flipped itself into honeycomb mode. So now we've got this piston ready to go for the dispensers of shears. And this one got pulled back and we're no longer collecting honey. So nice little alternate uh, mode here for this design. Pretty easy to switch out depending on what you would like to do with it. So uh, there you go. But yeah, that is basically it for this tutorial. That is how you build this thing. It's pretty simple to build. You just need some redstone and, and uh, yeah, there you go. Now you'll have a whole bunch of honey and a whole bunch of honeycombs. And I'm really hoping these come in to uh, be very valuable in the future. We'll see as the game design progresses. But yeah, that's going to do it for me today. If you guys enjoyed the tutorial and this is something that you feel like you could use in your world, please do hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We've got tons of stuff like this, plus awesome Let's Plays going on as well. Lots of Minecraft related content on the channel. So I would appreciate your subscription. And yeah, that's going to do it for me today. Thanks for watching.